Hi folks, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well. You're very welcome to uh, Fifth Year Geography Lesson 2 of Lockdown. So yesterday we began looking at glaciation, which is essentially just the work of ice. Okay, yesterday we looked at how glaciers form, we looked at how glaciers move and how glaciers erode. Okay, uh, just before we get into, into today's lesson, okay, just want to give you a quick revision activity to do. So in front of you, there are four uh, sentences or definitions, if you like. Um, two of them refer to how glaciers erode and two of them refer to how glaciers move. So I want you to, to get your notes copy and just write down. You don't have to write down the definitions. They're already there. Just write down uh, what each one is, okay, into your notes copy, okay? So match the correct term with the definition. Again, you can look back at your notes from yesterday to help you with this. So again, pause the video, spend whatever time you need. When you're ready, hit play. We'll correct these and we'll go on with today's lesson. Okay, so um, first definition, tearing away of blocks of rock which have become frozen into the base and sides of the glacier. Okay, what is that? So that's plucking, okay? So remember, how does plucking occur again? Well, plucking occurs when you've got cracks and stuff in the rock. Sometimes meltwater seeps into these cracks. What will this meltwater do? This meltwater will probably freeze again. When water turns to ice, it expands by about 10%, and this can break off bits of rock. These rocks then get literally plucked. They get plucked away by the glacier, okay? Uh, second one, wearing away of rocks at the base and sides of the glacier by rock fragments carried in the glacier. Okay, so it's kind of like sandpaper. What is this? This is abrasion. Okay, so again, bits of rock that are plucked, they get carried in the glacier um, at, the, at the base and sides. These rocks will scrape off the ground and act as sandpaper. This is called abrasion. Okay, uh, the third one here, the ice slides across the rock at its base what is that? That is basal slip. So the right, the, the ice is, is sliding along its base. Okay. So if we think back, uh, how heavy, how big does a glacier have to be to begin moving? So glaciers, uh, again, usually the biggest glaciers form in upland areas because it's colder. And when these glaciers reach about 20 to 30 meters in height, uh, the weight, the sheer weight of the glacier along with gravity can cause them to move. Okay. And the most common way to move is by basal slip. We know ice is slippy. So this ice will slip um, and cause the glacier to slowly slip downwards. Okay. Final term here, the ice bends as it moves over an uneven rock surface. So we know that, yeah, okay, so if we're going from the bottom of a mountain or top of a mountain down to the bottom, okay, it's not going to be a smooth ride the whole way down. It's going to be uneven. There's going to be jagged rocks that the glacier must get over. Uh, to do this, it does something called plastic flow. When the glacier literally changes uh, shape to get over the rock, okay? So today, our learning outcomes, guys, we're going to look at how glaciers transport their load, okay? So we know that glaciers can cause erosion through plucking and abrasion, okay? And we know that when glaciers, like when glaciers pluck rock, they literally, they take it, they literally pluck the rock and carry it with it, okay? And when they carry these rocks, they transport them in a number of different ways. And we're going to look at what they are now, okay? So, um... Just ignore the diagram for one second, okay? So, uh, new word here, a, a moraine, okay? A moraine, that is essentially how a glacier transports its load. It transports it uh, in a moraine, okay? So, what is a moraine? Okay, as rock gets plucked by ice and carried away, the material is called a moraine. A moraine is any accumulation, accumulation is build up of unconsolidated debris carried by a glacier. Okay, and it car moraines are formed in ridges. So we've got three glaciers here and they're slowly moving down a mountain, okay? Uh, and these glaciers, as they move, they pick up bits of rock or they break bits of rock off the mountain. These bits of rock, so unconsolidated debris is a fancy term for bits of loose rock. These get transported in moraines, okay? So a moraine is literally your ridge of bits of rock carried by the glacier. And there are four main types of moraine that we must know. Okay, um, so the first one we'll, we'll look at is a lateral moraine. And a lateral moraine is called a lateral moraine. Why? Because lateral moraines are found at the side of the glacier. Okay, so the word lateral means side. Okay, so lateral moraines are carried at the side of a glacier. Okay, um, so again, free, so freeze thaw action 
Um, above the ice deposits scree on the sides of the glacier. Freestyle action is a form of mechanical weathering. Scree is a bit of broken down rock. Okay, and that rock gets broken down and gets picked up and transported in the side of the glacier by a lateral moraine. Okay, these lateral moraines can erode the side of a valley as they move here. Okay, um, second type of moraine we're going to look at is a medial moraine. Okay, and a medial moraine is found in the middle. So M, medial means middle, M for medial, M for middle. And medial moraines are in the middle of a glacier. Okay, and a medial moraine forms when two uh, glaciers meet. So if we look here, guys, we can see, all right, we've got one glacier here and we've got another glacier here. And the glaciers meet when they get past this mountain peak here. And when they meet this side moraine here and this side moraine here or lateral moraine, they meet in the middle to form a medial moraine. Okay, so that's a medial moraine when two lateral moraines, when two glaciers meet and the lateral moraines combine. Okay. Um, our third type of moraine we'll look at is a ground moraine. You can't really see a ground moraine, okay? We can see it here because this is like a cross-section diagram, but in real life, you can't actually see a ground moraine. I'm going to show you a picture of these moraines in real life. Why? Because they're at the bottom of the glacier, okay? And these ground moraines are what would cause um, abrasion, okay? These ground moraines will act as like the sandpaper that will erode the valley as the ice moves downwards, okay? Um, final moraine then is a terminal moraine. A terminal moraine, so the word terminal kind of means uh, to end, terminate, end, okay? So terminal moraines are found at the front or the end of the glacier, okay? And they're lying across the front like this, okay? They consist of weather material that is pushed ahead of the glacier, okay? Now, when the glacier melts, these terminal moraines will form something. We're going to look at what that is in, in, in the next couple of lessons, okay? So... Um, if we look here, guys, okay, really interesting examples of moraine. So here we can see, okay, a moraine here. This is a medial moraine, okay? So uh, here's another medial moraine here, okay? If you look here, guys, you can see, look, you've got one glacier here and another glacier coming down here, okay? Uh, we've got a lateral moraine on this side and another lateral moraine on this side. What do two lateral moraines do when they meet? They form a medial moraine. Okay, so it's interesting how neat the moraines are. They, they look like almost like man-made roads, okay? So that is your uh, bits of rock and debris transport in a ridge um, in the form of a moraine. Okay, we've got other great examples here. Okay, look, we can see here's a glacier coming around the mountain here, another one coming around here. Okay, we've got a lateral moraine here and a lateral moraine here. What do the two moraines do when they meet? They'll form a medial moraine, okay? Um, so there are really good pictures of moraines and it, it, it's amazing how neat the material uh, is. Okay, it literally looks like they're man-made roads or something. Okay, here guys, you got this here is a terminal moraine. So again, look, you can see in the distance, the glacier is moving down the mountain and we can see here, these are the terminal moraine. This is a terminal moraine here. So this is the end of the glacier. Okay, the end of the glacier. Um, the glacier is kind of starting to kind of melt at this point and you can see that the material here at the front is the material, the terminal moraine, the material transport at the very front of the moraine. Okay, so um, guys, your task I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and you've got your four types of moraine in front of you. I want you in your notes copy to write down two characteristics of each moraine, okay? And again, guys, please send me on a picture of those characteristics, okay? Um, and of the, the initial revision task you did at the start of class, okay? Um, I'll make sure there's a space where that can be uploaded onto SchoolWise. If, um, if you have any trouble accessing SchoolWise, guys, I suppose you can just email it to me. Okay, um, but that's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for tuning in. Any issues at all, don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, thanks again.